Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about Himalayan rabbit. Health concerns. A Himalayan rabbit is a healthy rabbit breed, and these are not affected by any particular health issue or disease. Possibly the most common condition that the Himalayan may be affected with are common pests like mites, ticks, and fleas. The Himalayan is naturally found in their environment. On the other hand, Himalayan rabbits are not immune to common diseases that affect domesticated rabbits. This is one of the reasons why you must always monitor your rabbit's health and behavior. Any change could be due to an illness. As early as the baby opens its eyes and gets out of its nest, take it to the vet for basic vaccinations and tests. The vet will assess the overall health and development of your pet and assess the health condition of young rabbits. Small and very young rabbits have sensitive digestive systems and, therefore, could be prone to enteritis, bloat, and stasis. These may affect rabbits that are only two months of age. Always be aware of your rabbit's condition and check for any signs of illness like poor appetite, nasal and eye discharges, diarrhea, constipation, and vomiting. Watch out for signs like an unsteady gait, restlessness, teeth grating, and sleeping for a very long time because these could be symptoms of a serious condition. Another important part of dealing with pet rabbits is deworming. Your Himalayan must be treated for worms at least two times a year and must be done during spring and fall. This is a very important thing especially in rabbits that are raised from the wild or from wild parents all rabbit breeds should be dewormed using a pea-sized deworming paste. Put this in the rabbit's mouth, and this will lick and swallow the medication until everything is gone. Follow your vet's prescription. Spaying or neutering. Rabbits are promiscuous, and having several rabbits could be a disaster if you overlook spaying or neutering your pets. Spaying and neutering must be done at a young age. But, some vets wait until the rabbits are six months before spaying. Himalayan bucks are also neutered at a young age to reduce aggressive behavior. And for any questions about spaying and neutering, talk to your vet. These procedures are simple and won't harm your pet, so don't forget to consult your vet about these. Grooming Himalayan rabbits are like other domesticated rabbits in a way that they are meticulous groomers. This rabbit will groom themselves for many hours. Rabbits will groom each other, and this is a way to bond with other rabbits. Himalayan rabbits have short furs, but despite this, they will need regular grooming. To groom your pet, use a sturdy brush. Grooming will help keep its coat clean, shiny, and free from pests. Groom at least once or twice a week. Grooming should also be done more frequently during their molting period. Molting is when the rabbit's fur sheds so that new fur will grow. Grooming during molting will prevent wool blocks and will keep the rabbit from ingesting their own fur. If the rabbit is dirty, just spot clean it with a damp towel. Don't give it a bath because this can cause a lot of stress. Wipe the rabbit down with the towel and use a dry one after you're done. Take your rabbit to the vet or to a pet groomer to clean its ears and trim its nails. Availability You can buy a Himalayan rabbit from a breeder or a retailer. The price will vary whether you are buying a pet or a show rabbit. Expect the price to vary depending on the gender, size, coat quality, color, and overall appearance of the rabbit. If you are looking for a breeder, Choose one that breeds healthy Himalayan rabbits and not rabbits with genetic disorders. Purchase your rabbits from reliable breeders. This rabbit is also available in local trade fairs and farm events. There are also shows from Arba that highlight this lovely breed. Taking care of Himalayan rabbits. Caring for a Himalayan rabbit is like caring for other breeds. Be sure to provide the right diet, housing, proper medical treatment, and companionship. When it comes to its diet, it must always have hay. This is the bulk of a rabbit's diet, aside from eating rabbit pellets, vegetables, and fruits. This is a way to create a healthy, well-rounded rabbit diet. Place fresh water and hay in the enclosure because hay is an important part of a rabbit's diet. Hay is rough and can keep their digestive tracts regular. An inverted water bottle with a spout is also a good spill-proof way to drink water. Your rabbit will not get wet even if it runs and plays inside its cage. Your pet should eat the right food. Avoid food with pesticides, toxins, and herbicides by feeding these organic fruits and vegetables only. Also, consider feeding younger rabbits with alfalfa hay because it is rich in calcium ideal for growing healthy and strong bones. Meanwhile, adult Himalayan rabbits will love eating legume hay. Himalayan rabbits are naturally calm and friendly, but you must still invest time and effort to train them. Rabbits are social animals and will need companions aside from interacting with their owners. Rabbits with constant companions are healthier, happier, and well-rounded pets than those that are left inside their cages. Himalayan rabbits are mostly active in the daytime and sleep in the evenings. Captive rabbits can sleep 8 hours a day and may sleep together to keep themselves warm. Domesticated bred rabbits like the Himalayan are calm, friendly, and docile,
but you still need to train and bond with them. Just like any rabbit, invest in training and interacting with your pet daily. Captive rabbits are social animals and will need a rabbit companion or several companions. Keep in mind that rabbits can grow healthy and develop a good temperament when it socializes with their owner and their companions. Finally, take your pet to the vet early for vaccinations and tests. Your rabbit must be given a clean bill of health before it is placed in a cage with other rabbits, with pets, and also with people. You must learn the different signs of illness in rabbits so you can take your pet to the vet at the first sign of illness. Himalayan rabbits are like other domesticated rabbits because they don't like water. Most rabbits do not want to get wet and will not like a bath because water is very stressful for them. Never get a wild animal like a rabbit from the forest. This is a wild animal, and therefore, you won't be able to tame it and make it your pet because it will remain wild and hence, dangerous. So, if you see an injured rabbit, call animal services as soon as it can. Himalayan rabbits are not endangered. Himalayan rabbits are domesticated rabbits and are available from local and international breeders as well, and in pet shops, trade shows, and of course, these are also found in human homes as pets. Himalayan rabbits are domesticated rabbits and are found safe and sound inside human areas. Himalayan rabbits live in human and commercial areas like breeding kennels, pet centers, and human homes as good pets. Like all rabbit breeds, the Himalayan will eat its poop because these have nutrients in them. But after eating this once, they won't eat it the next time. No one knows why rabbits eat their poops, and you can prevent this by removing their droppings as soon as the rabbit defecates. Breeders say that Himalayan rabbits are also territorial when these are kept in a small enclosure. Males may develop aggressive behavior and fight other males during the breeding season. The aggressive males can hurt other males as they fight who is the better rabbit in the hierarchy. Some rabbit owners say that their pets can identify them from strangers and can tell if they are being handled by their owners or by someone else. They also said that their rabbits were skittish when held by other people but were calm in their arms. You can keep the Himalayan as a pet because it is docile and friendly. This is a good pet for families and for families with children, but a large space is necessary because a Himalayan is very active. If you want to care for Himalayan rabbit babies, put the kits in a comfortable and warm enclosure. Feed your baby rabbit soft food and keep these safe and warm. Protect them from predators found in your homes like your cat or pet dog. If you have seen wild caught baby rabbits, don't move them and call animal services for the proper rescue. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.